This next effect uses some money. I'm using a couple of coins here, in this case a two pence coin uh, and another two pence coin. Now what we're going to try and do is I'm going to try this amazing feat where they kind of balance on top of each other. Again, it takes a bit of practice. Sometimes you just have to persevere and you can get them to balance right on each other. Now the funny thing is about when they balance, you can actually make them stay on each other until you release them like so. In fact, if I just use it with one coin, I'm going to try and balance this with one coin here. i just balance it on the edges of my fingers. Watch carefully, we'll make it balance to the side, right about there, there, and there. And that's the trick with the balancing coin. Now this is a cool little trick, it doesn't require much. Uh, it just requires two coins. In this case, I'm using a two pence piece, a uh, two two pence pieces. Uh, one of them is completely ordinary. The other one is slightly gimmicked, though. I'll show you the back of it. It's a little matchstick with some blue tack on it. Let me explain how to make one of these up. Firstly, you need an old matchstick. Uh, I got well, this a matchstick from an arts and crafts set. You're going to take a little two pence coin and your matchstick, a piece of white tack or blue tack or glue tack, whichever one you would call it. Place it on the end of the matchstick and just stick it onto the back of the coin. Like so. Make sure it's trying to face straight down so that you can hold it up a little bit like a lollipop stick. Okay. Now this is actually a bit big for what we want to do because the second coin has to come underneath it and you can see the matchstick pop out one from underneath. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors and carefully just cut it a tiny bit in half until it fits perfectly behind that coin. It's going to be a little bit of a play about to see which size is perfect for your coins and your hands. But from that angle I can now put those coins together and the coins seem to be balanced on each other from the front but from the back you know I've got this whole little setup here. So from this view, you can now see that coin balanced on top of that coin. Now I start the trick by showing the coins. I'm, going to ha I'm not going to show them the back of this coin. I'm just going to hold that matchstick in between my finger and thumb. And now you can see this. I can show you the back and front of this one, but you don't need to see this one. And then pretend to do the trick, but get it wrong twice. By getting it wrong twice, you're setting it up for it being a lot harder than it actually is. The third time, you're going to hold the uh, matchstick in your hand with the finger and thumb covering it. You're going to bring the coin under the matchstick and then let them just touch and hold onto the edge of the matchstick. So from here, it comes underneath. I grab hold of the edge of the matchstick and I can now show the coin connected like so. So now it looks as though one coin is balanced on top of the other coin. Now there's lots of things I could do, I could just let it release and go back and that's the end of the trick. Or I could actually do this, where they kind of seem stuck to each other, and then release it. Now if I'm releasing it, but because of the speed from which it drops, you can't see the matchstick. So from there, I can drop it, and you can't see the matchstick drop. And that allows you to show both coins, um, or this hand, both. You should be able to show this coin both sides, and this coin you pretend to show both sides. If you want, you can even, depending on the size of your thumb, move your thumb across, and now you can practically show it if you wish. Now, the second stage of that trick was what was in your fingers. Again, I'm going to use that matchstick in the blue tack, same coin again, but this time I'm going to place it in between my fingers, like so. So now you can see that coin balanced in between my fingers. Now, if you've got good control, you can let the coin kind of tilt backwards like that. I didn't have a lot of luck on that with, in the performance, but it allows you to then pick up the coin and kind of conclude the trick. But basically, you could start from just here, you're placing the matchstick in between the fingers, it now looks almost normal, if it's the right size. 
is the orange one for sizing. And then you can just let it drop gently. And it ends and close the trick. So all it uses is a couple of matchsticks, a bit of blue tack, and two two pence pieces. You don't have to use two pence pieces either. You can perform with the trick with pound coins or pennies. I just found two pence pieces are good for their size and visuality. Pound coins are good because of their thickness. It allows you to hide the matchstick a tiny bit more. I hope you enjoy it. Now for more of it. Yeah.